we need 1 cup curd 4 tablespoon of maida 4 tablespoon of besan 3 tablespoon of corn flour half tablespoon red chili powder 2 to 3 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste half tablespoon of coriander powder half tablespoon of garam masala 1 uh, tablespoon of salt and half tablespoon of black pepper powder we need 3 4 glass of water then 3 to 4 cup of complex in this I have taken Kellogg's original complex that is plain complex next we need soya chaat here I have taken half kg in which about 8 to 9 pieces come we will mix our curd, ginger garlic paste, garam masala, salt, coriander powder, red chilli powder and black pepper powder. We have to mix it nicely. Our first marination is completely ready as you can see. Now we will dip soya chaap in this and we have to completely nicely coat the soya chaap with this marination. I have taken 3-4 soya chaaps and I have cut them into small pieces. These are both ways you can make it. Now I have similarly dipped the chunks of soya chaap into the same marination. We have to keep this marinated soya chaap in refrigerator for minimum 3 to 4 hours so that the marination completely stuck to the chaap. 2000 years later. Now, in a plate, I'm crushing my plain cornflakes, which I already showed before. You have to crush it with hands, not in a mixer grinder. Now, I have taken out my marinated soya chaap out of the refrigerator after 4 hours and I'm dipping it into the second marinated coat. And I'm really sorry I forgot to show the process of the second marination but I have shown it in another video for which I am leaving the link below in the description box so please don't forget to check it out. Okay so after dipping the first marinated soya chaap I am dipping it in the second one and then I am coating it nicely with the crushed cornflex. After coating it with cornflex, we have to fry it and we have to make sure that the oil is not very hot otherwise it will burn the cornflex. It will take about 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat to fry it and then it's ready to serve. Our crispy and soft soya chop is ready. So serve it with green mint chutney and ketchup. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. See you in the next video.